right so we slid into a spot we had to come in i had to show them my twit car which twit car goes through i think it's the department of homeland security it's 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 a it's a it's kind of like, a, like an endorsement but a lot of people honestly don't know about it and people don't talk about it but it's definitely a good thing to have you see they run stuff through the ports a lot ports are a big deal um i ran some stuff through ports when i was doing flatbed but not a lot um and that was even during the crisis where the ports were really backed up uh a year or two ago so um it's a cool deal you see the trucks in front of us uh you see that white truck on the right that's where i come from you drive on down and you circle around you got to slide your tandem so you got to slide your rear axles all the way to the back open the door and then just wait until they're ready for you to pull forward and uh then uh, i guess we're gonna pull forward like where those trucks are and and uh and get loaded uh so this might be a little bit of a process but they tend to move pretty quick into ports you know they got a lot of stuff going on so um i'm, I'm here next to some trucks more trucks and a lot a lot of a lot of business so we'll be heading out of here and looking forward to getting home that's the main thing getting home and get a few hours i guess i might have the night off we'll see and uh tomorrow night and so we'll try to get get to atlanta today today and then tonight drop this load off in the morning and then head on out uh to to the house get everything loaded in the truck might might see about getting a tv mount put together here and stuff like that and they're real big on security here they had to they had to look inside my truck make sure ain't nobody in here and stuff like that you know so it's an interesting deal make sure you get your twit cards but you see that you know what that means it's night time it's been one heck of a day i'm gonna tell you what it really really has been one of those days uh it first started out we were there at the port things were looking up everything was looking good and then things changed and they ended up taking forever to get me loaded I was starting to get so at a certain point you get start paying getting paid just for sitting because it takes so long i didn't i got there at 11 an hour before my appointment time and i didn't get there until i didn't get out of there until almost four o'clock so it was it really messed up my whole schedule it, it made it to where i can't even make my appointment time on time so uh we're gonna just gonna have to show i guess the latest i know is we're just show up as soon as we can um, but I drove a, a, a handful of hours. It was only like a five and a half, a little, almost six hour trip from Jacksonville to Norcross where I'm delivering the load. And now I am, found me a little spot, never been here yet, but I found me a little spot and I was able to pull into a little place real quick and grab some Chick-fil-A, which is hard to do okay as a truck driver okay you can't be i'm spoiling you guys you folks that are not truck drivers you have no idea how hard it is to find places where you can grab some good food outside of the truck stop food because a lot of places are not friendly with truck drivers they won't let you park and stuff you truck drivers you know what i'm talking about you have no idea folks how tough that is but i i find some little sneaky places here and there where i can get in and uh grab some food um, but I'm telling you, you can't get away with a lot of stuff, you know. Like, for example, parking in here, you can't do that. These islands, these grass islands, you think, oh, it's for the landscape. No, they're to keep truck drivers out. Because us big trucks can't get in and out of there, especially not without tearing something up. So that's the purpose of all that. They keep us out. So it is what it is. But I was able to, and I found this exit right here, and I like this. This Walmart is actually friendly. They, uh, From what I hear, they allow truck drivers to park there. You see a few parked there already but they're not here tonight i didn't see a single one out there but that's a good find uh because not every walmart is friendly neither heck uh, i got threatened to get towed once in dallas texas because i was parked in a i was in i'm bothering nobody just parking overnight tough on time you know and i couldn't find a place to park thought it'd be okay and no no i had to pay 250 dollars to just keep them from towing my truck so that's the kind of crap you got to deal with out here as part of a folks you need to be more friendly to truck drivers but like i say you nasty truck drivers you need to clean up after yourself you're the reason a lot of times why we're dealing with this stuff 
but this has got some really good food here so i'm impressed with this stop you got a daggum japanese steakhouse you got new johnny's new york style pizza you got freddy's fazoli's was an italian spot you got taco bell if you want to get cheap and i like to get down and dirty with it sometimes at taco bell stay nice and cheap you got pizza hut but the chick-fil-a man that's where it's at so you got a friendly place that's cool that's awesome it's a good find but now ultimately it is time to call it a day and i got to freaking get up in 10 hours less than 10 hours and get back and get up here as soon as i can and then get unloaded and then get home and then i got to get everything brought into the truck and everything so it's going to be a day i'll update you guys later i'm going to go ahead first i'm going to show you for, so that that's that's the presentation that's the presentation just showing you what it's like to be a truck driver and this and that and what you got to deal with but this this is what it's about man getting some good food long day got some nice chick-fil-a i hope you learned something i hope you enjoyed this good presentation all right update time we are in atlanta we're in norcross and i live not far from here so this is where we's at dropping the load off you can see we're at we're at the facility we got here an hour and a half at well what was it actually two hours or so right at two hours after our appointment time so we managed to do what we could but we're here we're gonna drop this load off and then we can get going home had to do a few things we got up early this morning started going off and uh driving through some rain and traffic even the the little bit of rain is a problem with traffic because folks so there was at least one accident and that's definitely not good for morning atlanta traffic we make good time though um anyway i know that uh these videos aren't as good i can't i can't touch the camera while i'm driving so i gotta have non-touch cameras i'll be getting some more gopros in the future if i want to keep doing this that are voice activated and i can show what i want to show i had some beautiful scenery in in florida that i wanted to show but i just can't i can't be sh you know sh showing the unprofessionalism of touching electronic stuff um uh, you know with video and stuff so definitely trying not to do that and uh you know so things will get better not to mention i got m different mounts coming and you know i'll hopefully have a better computer so i can be a lot more speedy with uploading videos but we're just kind of roughing it right now not to mention i don't even have most of the stuff that i normally truck with which has been met which is definitely what's made this week interesting but that's just part of it when you switch gigs or switch trucks or anything like that you're gonna have to kind of rough it a little bit i could have done a little better if i went ahead and grocery shopped but I'm glad that I didn't because then I couldn't have gotten that New Orleans boudin. Boudin. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't be able to fill my freezer and fridge with some of that. So, um, nevertheless, just roughing it this week. It's been kind of a bit of a rough week for me, honestly. But, you know, just getting through it and, uh, you know, keep it going, man. There's going to be good weeks and there's going to be rougher weeks. And I don't mind having a a rough week because i'm looking forward to a good week we'll have one of those soon so i'm looking forward to getting home soon seeing that little dog i told you i love my little dog for real and uh, we will be seeing that little dog grabbing that little dog we'll have the night off uh pick pick her, her little dog up and we can get back on the road tomorrow she'll be with us and she stays out with me the whole time i mean she's been she we, we were on the road five months straight last year in 2022 so um she lives that lifestyle too so that's that's when things are going to get a little more interesting as well because she's definitely a lot more interesting a lot more attractive <laughs> and everything than i am you know i mean you know you may not really like seeing myself on the camera but uh let me tell you you're gonna like seeing a little little goofy energy filled cute little dog you're gonna love to see that so gonna be better for both of us that's for sure i love i enjoy having my dog so that's about it then we're gonna make it to south dakota as soon as we can i got some business to handle up there and then we're gonna probably come back in a month mid-february is my birthday 
So I imagine that's probably going to be it for this load. I'm going to catch you guys later. Like I said, it's going to get a lot better. The production is going to get a lot better once I start getting. I got some more mounts and new batteries coming in for the GoPro. We're just kind of roughing it right now. And um, not to mention more GoPros so that, you know, to where I can actually show footage on the road and stuff. It's just going to get better. So if this intrigued you, trust me, the videos that I'm going to be making as I get my niche and get my equipment in together... I really think you're going to enjoy them if this intrigued you at all. So thanks for viewing. Thanks for sticking in. And uh, if, if there's anybody you know that, you know, maybe likes this kind of content or is a truck driver or whatever, share them my content. Um, I think I think that they'll be entertained by it. Um, I think it's good for folks. If you, get, if you know somebody that maybe doesn't have a career, show them this content. You know, if they need a career change or something. And trucking might be for them. Maybe they thought about it and they weren't sure. Watch, watch my content and people like me, you know, that are out here doing it. And I really believe that if it's for you, you're going to be intrigued. That's what happened to me. I saw someone do it and I was all over it. So, y'all take care. Have a blessed day. I'm out.